All right, so uh, I made a little adjustment to my uh, my GSI minimalist uh, backpacking cook set, which uh, I've got another video up on my up on my page. You can check out; it's got all the all the deals uh, in in detail on that, uh, which is right here. And uh, I've been using it for about you know a dozen or so trips, and uh, there's a few things that I thought that I would like to change about it. Um, a few things I wanted to add, a few things that I wanted to experiment with. So I've been doing a little of that, experimenting, changing, playing with the idea. And uh, I made some pretty interesting um, findings, actually. Uh, one of which is this is what I was using before. This is the one that you know I talked about in, in the other video. Uh, I never did put the weight up on there. So I'll actually weigh it right now on the scale. Let me turn it on here. And it weighs in at nine and a half ounces. Nine point five ounces. Zoom in there. Nine point five. All right. And I'll take that apart, and we'll just kind of go over real quick exactly what that was, or what what that is. Everything uh, in it. Uh, let's put that right about there. Okay. All right, so GSI uh, uh, minimalist cook set, neoprene cozy sleeve, the uh, sippet lid that you can actually flip over and use to uh, use on the pot to boil. I had my handy dandy fuel reclaimer slash uh, uh, priming pan. Uh, had that in there. Uh, I was using the uh, Vargo um, Triad titanium stove. Um, like this stove, it's fine. Had a couple issues with it, wanted to try something else, so I did. And it's got a penny on the back there uh, for the pressure plate that was in there. Um, the pot grabber that comes with the cook set and the foon that comes with the cook set were both in there. Um, this is my MSR uh, mug mate, my coffee filter, because I gotta have good coffee. Uh, I think I've added the bale since last time, makes it a little easier to dip in and out of the pot. And I can actually tie it off to a stick if I want to make a full pot. And I'll go into that in a minute. But uh, the mug mate was in there. Uh, two various pack towels, a small and a smaller for, you know, wiping stuff up. And uh, the windscreen, uh, this used to be cylindrical uh, the way I had it set up before. But I've since folded it. It takes up a lot less room. I like it better. So same thing, same screen. Uh, what else do I got here? My straw. Uh, that I use for like mixing the coffee, mixing things up, um, and I also use it to suck the air out of uh, Ziploc bags, so I can, uh, you know, just kind of keep them as, as condensed and packable as possible. And he was in there, and then of course a Bic lighter. Okay, so all that, everything here, for nine and a half ounces, and that's what I was using before, and I was happy with it. You know, for me, that's in my weight range you know uh, uh, I know I could go lighter and I know there's a lot lighter sets but uh, this is my set this is what I what I go with and I, and I really like it uh, now I wanted to make some changes all right uh, first of all I wanted to, to lose this because apparently from what I understand these are much heavier than one that you could make out of uh, Reflectex uh, I love this stuff and lo and behold, they're absolutely right. This is, the Reflectex is lighter than the uh, neoprene one that they give you. And I think that it insulates better. And uh, I kind of like the silverness of it. I just kind of like that. But uh, anyway, so I dropped that and I added the uh, Reflectex Cozy and the pot. The pot stays the same. Okay. Uh, what else did I add? Oh, I wanted, I changed stoves. Uh, like the triad, fine. Sometimes it's kind of temperamental. Uh, this is a stove that I had. Let get this windscreen off of here. Uh, this is a stove that I made myself out of a uh, five and a half ounce. Um, what was it? A little five and a half ounce Red Bull. And I got the directions online uh, how to make it, and it's super duper easy. And they're, they're narrow diameter enough that they actually fit the minimalist uh, cook set. Here, I'm on a kind of an off-camber picnic table, but 
you get the idea it is rather solid actually on flat ground but it fits the bottom I think better than the triad does and uh, the flames seem to go you know they seem to just be a little more consistent and actually I found a quicker boil time <laughs> on the same amount of fuel like an ounce to an ounce and a quarter in this stove versus the homemade free stove versus this $25 titanium stove and this one weighs less this weighs I think one ounce and uh, this weighs like approximately 0.3 pretty sure it varies 0 0.2 0 0.3 back and forth and I think it cooks better and I think the bloom on the fire kind of uh, uh, licks a little bit better uh, so yeah I changed to this little stove and I have a little uh, uh, simmer ring that I made uh, this is kind of a work in progress it's not finished yet and it goes over the holes that you can adjust the uh, airflow and all that good stuff um, Again, I'm working on that. It's it, it fits right on there, so I take it anyway until I get it uh, all worked out. But uh, okay, so I went different cozy, same same pot, different stove. I'm still taking the uh, the uh, my mug mate because I got to have my coffee. I'm still taking the two pack towels because I find those to be a necessity. So they're staying. I still bring the pot grabber. Uh, I still bring the spoon. I still bring the straw, and I still bring the same mini Bic lighter until, of course, it runs out of fuel. Uh, I use the same GSI lid. Now, I know you can get like a lighter aluminum lid, make your own uh, handle, whatnot, or even a Ziploc container lid. I've heard work pretty well. Uh, I might switch to that and save a little bit more, but you know, right now I'm kind of, I'm, you know, I'm satisfied with what I got. So I'm using the same old lid just because it fits tight and uh, it's dual purpose. I kind of like it, although it is heavy. Granted, it is, it is heavy. Okay, so that's pretty much the new setup. But I've added some more things. I've added, uh, I've added this little cup right here, and it's just a Ziploc, uh, one of those snap lid. Uh, storage cups and I cut it down and this is pretty much like my I call it my dirty cup and uh, it's pretty much for doing you know dirty things if I have to you know scoop some really nasty water out of something you know I might I might do it in this thing uh, if I wanted to squirt some water in it put a little a little soap a little camp soap in there and use it as you know a small wash basin maybe to, to clean my spoon up or you know clean the pot scrubber up or something like that it would be used for that um, I typically use it for uh, a snuffer for my stove and I know everybody's saying yeah it's plastic it's gonna melt but actually it's really durable on the bottom and you only hold it I mean on the ground for a second maybe two seconds and it's out and, it, and I've used it a bunch of times and it hasn't even phased it so it's kind of a, a multi-purpose little thing and it fits you know in it fits in the minimalist so we'll just go ahead and put that in the bottom it fits perfect on the bottom all right what else did I add oh I added another cup because I found that when I'm eating meals say out of a uh, Ziploc freezer bag for example a quart size um, they're kind of hard to handle uh, when I when I take it out of my my food cozy yeah, I find it to be kind of hard to handle to eat out of you know so uh, I've seen a lot of people just take a cup and put it inside you know put your your freezer bag inside the cup after it's cooked of course and then uh, roll the top down and it gives you something to actually hold on to and and dig a fork into you know you can actually kind of manipulate it and grip it a little bit more and uh, and again, uh, this could be another drinking glass, you know, if I want to make a, a juice or maybe pour my coffee that I would normally drink out of here, I could pour it into here and, you know, of course it's not going to be as insulated. I guess I could put it in the cozy, it doesn't really fit that well, but, uh, you know, I could put my coffee in there and drink it if I were boiling water again, maybe for something to eat or something like that. So I added the cup and it fit and uh, it stores you know all this other stuff uh windscreen i put back in the cup uh, i put the spoon it goes in the cup i've got the msr mug mate and the two pack towels in there actually i'll put the uh i'll put the pot gripper in first put the 
towels around the side put all of those into the cook set oh I also added a, uh, a little spreader sometimes if I want to spread things on like my tortillas or I don't know something I found it in a, in a Duncan Hines box or something and thought I'd give it a shot it may it may get 86 I'm not sure but it fits and it's light so I drop it in there and then I also added a uh, small piece of uh, relatively thick foil for a, uh, a uh, uh, heat reflector on the bottom for my stove in the winter time. And uh, it's just real lightweight aluminum, no big deal, just reflects the heat back up, helps the stove work a little better. And it fits actually in the bottom of the Reflectex Cozy, so it goes in, in there. And then I take my stove right here and it, it fits perfectly inside the mug mate <laughs> like ideally those five and a half ounce stoves fit like perfectly right in there so that's pretty much like everything that i had on my old set plus a couple cups um, a spreading thing a different stove everything else i had before with the cozy new and improved cozy uh, I've disregarded the use of the Vargo Triad and the, the priming plate fuel uh, reclaimer that, that he goes with, but I still use it. I still like it. It has a time and a place. And uh, here's the setup now. Pop the lid on, everything. Oh, I forgot the bick. The lids on these things are actually, you pinch it a little bit, they pop right off. Forgot the bick lighter, so bick's going in lids on and put it on the scale over here and see and what does it weigh in at oh, you can't see it because of the sun well, it says let me move it back here I'll we'll take it off Zeroed out, yeah. Okay, that's the cook set, new and improved. Added more things, 9.2. <laughs> so I lost three tenths of an ounce by adding more stuff, changing a stove, changing the cozy. I actually added more to my cook set, and it weighs less. The old one was 9.5 with less stuff, the new one is 9.2 with more stuff so wow kind of cool it's been a lot of fun i like it and it works really really well you know i'm pleased with the whole system itself is perfect for you know me one person on a solo trip it's it's ideal so all right thought i'd throw that at you take care talk to you later thanks for watching <laughs>